So the meat show is in London, England today. We are at Spitalfields Market to try a hamburger with two patties with black pudding interjected between them. I'm naturally opposed to string from the archetypal American cheeseburger form. But look, it's the 21st century, it's the year 2017. The world has fallen in love with a hamburger. Maybe it's time to embrace the universal global vision of a hamburger. So let's go inside and meet the Bleaker Black. I dreamed this up in New York, moved to London, and you know I wanted to open it over here. Tell me what your favorite hamburgers are in New York. Well, I worked at Zeitzeb. It reintroduced the burger to me. You know, I didn't give a shit about burgers, uh, and I tasted theirs, and my whole world opened up. Break down the hamburger itself, because you have, I mean, you have a number of them, but the Bleak of Black is kind of what you're known for, right? Yeah, the Bleak of Black is our big match. We cook a cheeseburger, we cook the black pudding, we put another cheeseburger on it, cut oh, it so in. it's a double patty. It's double patty, so we have this grass-fed beef. You know, it has that punchy, sort of funky flavor, mm -hmm. but we surround that with a lot of fat, a lot of seriously aged fat. So traditionally a black pudding is a pork blood sausage, basically. Pork blood sausage, yeah. So this, this company called Clonic Hilti has been making this for over 100 years. And it's different than most black puddings, because most black puddings traditionally are made with only pork uh, and a lot of blood. This is an all beef black pudding, and it has a very small percentage of dry blood powder. This flavor of the black pudding it just started to make the meat sing just a little bit more. To me, the bun is the unsung hero of the hamburger. I didn't want a brioche bun, so I was painting the streets of London. I was in Shepherd's Bush. I noticed the bakery. I walked in. It was a Malaysian woman. She was baking these steamed buns, and I asked her, can you make this into a hamburger bun? And that was the beginning of the end. OK, well, I'm going to uh, take a seat, start drinking, and look forward to trying your hamburger. Let me see what I can do. So here we have the single cheeseburger, the bleaker black. Look at that flakes of uh, black pudding are dripping off it. Mm -hmm. That is outstanding. Oh my God. I'm gonna put aside your expectations of sort of a classic cheeseburger. The black pudding, it doesn't dominate the palate, but it's certainly the thing that hits you first. It's like this really salty, dark punch. And you get this texture from the oats. It's got like a real bite to it. But then the succulence of the beef comes on and you get this sort of tangy aged flavor. It's really rather special. If you've never had black pudding or blood sausage, which is popular in almost every culture, it doesn't taste like blood. I mean, there are definitely dark savory notes and it, it, it's definitely kind of funky and you know, like awful often is. It's something you should try. I mean, it, it is an important part of cooking and an important part of eating all of the animal. Let's try the cheeseburger. Actually, I'm kind of more of a fan of the single hamburger, especially in this. I think mean, it's kind of a perfect little package right there. Mm. I thought just sort of I would prefer this because it, it's like a pure fast food style hamburger, but I have to admit that I'm kind of drawn to this, even though I prefer the single patty. Like, maybe my ideal would be a single patty with black pudding on it. Okay, well, I came here skeptical. I came here knowing this would be a great hamburger, but really thought I would gravitate towards a classic American style hamburger. But indeed, I have actually fallen in love with this double patty stack with a nice wedge of black pudding in the middle of it. It's not something I really expect to order in America, but here in England, I think it's perfectly acceptable. And indeed, if you come to Bleecker, I recommend you get the Bleecker Black Burger. Thanks very much for watching from the Spitalfield Market. We'll see you on the next episode. If you've watched The Meat Show before, you're probably sick of me talking about how wonderful I find the cap of the rib steak, which is Fernando's Dorsey muscle. But for the new guys, that's my...